Oh. All right, this is one of my DL finds, how to make a Sprite, part two. All right, first thing you've noticed is I've already changed this purple back. I did that during our, like, two-second break. Um. Anyway, I haven't done anything else. I'm going to get my freeform select. And I'm going to move for alligator. I just like doing the freeform select. Move for alligator over this way. Now, I do have zoomed in, so I, as you can see, I have room right here to move over. So I can put him there and it won't matter. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the other. Now I'm gonna show you about flipping, so I'm not gonna take this wing, even though I easily could, I'm taking this wing. All right, we'll get this wing again. Then we'll copy, edit, paste. Move this over, do exactly how I told you, flip, rotate. All right, remember we gotta erase everything. It's messed up on here. All right, one thing I would like to add in is that you cannot make a perfect sprite right off the beginning. Like, most of mine in the beginning, like, suck. Like, suck badly. But after you practice and write this stuff, I don't... All right. First thing, I'm going to put for alligator on top of this, so I don't need to do that. Remember, right-click when you're doing the um, color changer. Since I'm putting for alligator on this arm, it won't really matter. But anyway, I'm going to go down to for alligator over here. Now, there's no way that's going to work here. So we're just going to set this wing off to the side. Now I'm going to get my free form, free form select because by the time you get over past the tail, you're probably going to be close to hitting the other wing. Alright, we'll get for alligator here. Now this probably doesn't look best, the other guy's video that I kind of copied. Oh, alright, you see how... For alligators, white is now turning into that other wing. Yeah, that's another problem. So we're going to fill that in just like we did the other. Fill it in, fill it in, all the teeth and part of that eye up there. Fill it in. I'm turning all white on for alligators area up here. For alligators face and his claws purple because I don't want to go down to claws that I have not changed um, and change them. So see now it does not have the same effect. Now you're going to find the place where the wings are almost level or maybe one higher than the other. But we're going to go like that. Yeah this does not look best. Alright we'll get hoo ho out of the way here. Oh crap. Alright. Gotta get dead on too. Uh, yeah, this is kind of the part where it gets all complicated and you mess up real bad. Alright, I'm just gonna erase Huho and I can get another Huho later. Alright. Yeah, I really messed up at putting the wing so close to hoo ho and then putting for alligator on top of the wing. Yeah, never do that. All right. One thing, if you mess up, just fix it. Like, unless you're, I would not recommend doing the hypercam and showing people you making the sprites unless you choose to. Like, if you don't, if you like have practiced for a long time, then um, then you can. But I would not recommend doing that if you're crap. Doing what? Like showing people you making a sprite on Hypercam. What's Hypercam? It's basically um, basically where it shows you doing um sprites and other stuff on your computer in like super fast version. 
All right, so we're gonna get our eraser here. All right, it's all set up. See down here in the bottom, I have the purple on the left click and the white on the right click. So I'm gonna right click and go over all this purple right here. And we'll just go down here. Now, that doesn't look great, but we're gonna go for recoloring, all right? Zoom out. You do. Freeform select again, because this is a bad situation. Try not to. Copy. File, edit. Edit. Paste. All right, we're gonna get our eraser here, erase that part of Lydia. Move hoo ho down here. <laughs> Funny. All right, we're gonna move hoo ho down here right beside for alligator. Zoom in by six times. All right, if you put them in the middle of the page, like right around here, you just basically put your bars there and around there and you'll probably find a part of the Pokemon that you got so yeah that's pretty much the easiest way to find them like that alright now you'll notice it's going to make a box anyway well oh crap I yeah I really should have planned this because I'm doing really bad at fixing all this. Alright, so we're going to have to do recoloring. I'm probably going to zoom out by times two. Alright, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to find the lightest color on Huho, the color that you're changing, which I believe it would be the white. It has white on it. And so, since I can't actually make white, what you're going to do is you're going to go down to your square rectangle box thing and you're going to go to that and then you're going to select black and then for that you're just going to make like a box basically to show that there was white there. Alright, then you're going to want to take your next darkest color which will Brightest. probably be the... Alright, I messed up. Right there, I left click instead of right click. You need a right click. What did I delete? You take your lightest color first. Yeah, I know, but what did I delete? Alright, I don't know what happened, but my little box up here just like disappeared. But Alright, first you're going to want to pick that up. You're going to want to get white in the main um, box. Then you're going you're gonna to left click white. And then you're going to right click the color. Also, your color will show up over here. So you'll know that I'm not getting that or getting that. So you'll have like that. All right. Then you're going to want to go to your eraser. Then you're going to want to make your eraser as big as possible. And then you're going to want to left right click. So then you have like two little boxes. Then you just click that again. And then you just get the next color on Huho, which should probably be this darker, darker green. Alright, then, alright, sometimes I get like all the colors of for alligator and put them in like a color coded box. Like the little white, the really white dark blue would like go to like white. Alright, the wings, the green is for like his spikes and then like the rest of him will be for his actual, who has actual body. All right, we're gonna wanna get that light orange. I messed up again, so we'll have to get that light orange. Now I'm gonna separate them right here, so just so I know. All right, we're gonna click on that. Find our next color, click on that. Now you'll notice if I were to click like right there, nothing would change. If I were to right click right there, nothing changes because it only changes white. Alright, so let's get our paintbrush right here. We'll go to green. Alright, so 
I'm just dividing those right here. These are for the spikes, and these are for the body. S and B, alright. So then you're going to want to get your next darkest color, which is probably... Is that that same color? Huh. Alright, next darkest color would probably be the gray down here. It's like really dark gray right, like right there but that's probably only down the line so I'm gonna put that right around there all right it does have an even lighter gray all right I just made a small box because I'm pretty sure there's something in between there um, aha there we go. See, now I have a color line here and a color line there. First thing to do is we're going to have to get closer, obviously. So, times six. Alright, so now we've got him and then him. Alright. So, since I'm changing the spikes, I'll be able to have my spikes down here and then I'll be able to have the green, white, and that. Alright, first thing would probably be this, like, orange there. Now, whatever you left click, whatever you left click will become the color that you right click. So I'm going to right click the white up here. And then you're going to want to right click over that part of for alligator. Yeah, alright. Next, you're going to want to, I don't know why I scroll down, get your next color, get your dropper. Get your next color, which would be this like orange right here. So now we've got now we've got this orange going to that. Now I'm not gonna change the wings because this color is the same as that color, so I gotta keep it on the spikes. I don't want to go over towards the wings because then I'll change the wings too. Alright, we'll get our next color there. Get our next color. Alright, I messed up on that because I clicked them backwards, but that doesn't matter. No one watches you do this, so. So now I have for alligators spikes done. Now one last thing is um I do not have the outline is still brown and that is like so stupid. So I'm I forgot to do this earlier, but I'm gonna get that dark brown. And that's also a part of who has dark brown, but it's not part of the green part of his wings. So I'm gonna get black. So now we just drag this right along here. Alright, so now you have the black, white, green, light green, dark green spikes. Alright, so how I remember this is I go up here oh, dang it. All right, eraser, I yeah, remember you gotta click and then you have your eraser on the normal thing. So I've already done that part. So I'm going to erase this part right here. Alright, this is part, this is all part of recoloring. Recoloring is probably one of the most crucial step on its own. The most crucial step there is. Alright. Lightest color down here would be this baby blue first in the line that alright so then we'll just go over the face it's probably only on for alligators eyes but I'm going over all the Pokemon all of the Pokemon see there was some on his knee right there that I might not have gotten to alright next color 
next color. In future advice, I would recommend um this is probably not the best color combination. Uh, say I haven't been doing this for long. I'll admit that, but yeah, I didn't plan this. I didn't even plan to. One thing you gotta also remember is see, I didn't get the outline. No, 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 no. So now I gotta go back all the way back up. Cause I, now it's practically an eraser. Gotta get this third color here. Alright, it looks pretty good, but you can still see blue. And that is pretty much stupid. So, we're gonna find who over here. Alright, now what's his outline? It's pretty much his brown on his wings. Most of his outline is black, but I'm gonna get that brown because that seems like the best in this situation, I would think. Alright. And then now you have the outline of for alligator shape. Now notice there's still some blue left here and there. Get the closest color to it. And then see like the, in this blue, that's the closest color. And then you have the outline. So I'm just going to get that color and fill that in. And then you have this baby blue up here. We're going to change that into maybe this like orange right here. And then there you go, Ferrella Ho, Ho a Gator. I don't oh. know. All right. Comment below and tell us tell us what you think. We'll have others soon. Till next time, guys. Goodbye.